Hey guys, we are live and it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and welcome. It's Monday. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I see we've got some people in chat. I would like to welcome McClad and Cajun Mage, Lamunas, Rumble, Protomaker. <laughs> Lamunas is trolling uh, trolling Protomaker already, saying he's a bad influence. Paul Dima, hello. Durin's Bane one and T Speaks. Hello, everybody. And also use your wood and Krylo 737. Good, good afternoon. It's afternoon in the US here in Illinois. So welcome. <laughs> so we've been painting, we've been doing a lot of Kingdom Death since I got back from Gen Con, which is cool because I think a lot of people are really excited about all the new models that just came out. We had um, Echoes of Death 2, and we also had the, um, what was the other one that came out? 
Ah, wait. Exit of death two. This, uh, oh, the, well, how could I forget this? The Giga Lion. The Giga Lion. Hold on, I'm going to show you guys what we're talking about here. Twist Gaming, my love. Guys, so if you like Kingdom Death and if you like watching people play games of Kingdom Death, Twist Gaming does that every now and then. They also do other kinds of games and stuff. You can give them a follow. Yes, Giga Lion. <laughs> here is the beginnings of our Giga Lion. You can see that. He is looking good. He is, we won't show the anatomy in the back. He has anatomy. You can't see that. I'm covering it up. So, yes, he's crunching, crunching on the humans. <laughs> so, and then also, so like, let's look at the ones I've already got painted. This is one of the Echoes of Death survivors. She is the mage, I believe she's, no, 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 no. She's the cleric. And I find it ironic that she's the cleric because she's standing in like piles of goo and debris and and death. And I think she's got this, can you see this worried look on her face where she's like, I don't know if I can heal anybody or if I'm going to have to start turning people. I think that's her, that's her thought process. <laughs> then we, last time we painted on this girl, this is the ranger, and the chat decided that I should give her brown brown skin tone, which I really enjoyed. There's the back. We haven't gotten it completely done. Well, actually, I think really mostly just the base. I worked on it a little bit more off stream, but that's what we got. Paul Jima says, from what I've seen, it seems smooth areas below the lion are clouds or cave mist rather than piles of gore. I, it'd be tricky to balance the colors with the white lion cave mist. Hmm, that's a good point. Let's look at this because I think the best way to do the cave mist, I really like that idea that it's mist because it looks a lot like the others, like the smoke from the gold smoke night and stuff like that. They tend to do all of their clouds and smoke the same. But I think the best way to treat the lion is to have him like half in shadow and half out. And that way you can have the wider parts on, on the other, other, but other bits that need to be lighter. Hello, Amberton, Mayanara. Dern says, hey, resub there today. Oh, awesome. Good, good. Resub there too today. Awesome. Thank you so much. Paul Jimmy says, oh, nice. <laughs> so that's, that's what I would think. And um, so I was going to let you guys pick. I was going to either work on the gladiator or the bard. Which ones would you would prefer? We're gonna choose number one for the gladiator and number two for the bard. You get a pick. Type one for the gladiator and two for the bard. <laughs> do we need it? We could do a poll again. We could try to do a poll. Here, hold on one second. I'm gonna try to do a poll. Yeah, I like the one. Give me a second. I like polls. Polls are fun. Here we go. Here's one. Okay, ready, question. Which model should Shoshi pick? I'm gonna type this in here. Which one should I paint? Shoshi paint. I like to get you guys all involved and excited. All right, let's capitalize my own name real quick. There we go. Option one is gonna be a uh, bard. Like, there we go, and then Gonna do the gladiator. Sorry, I messed that up. Gladiator was one, wasn't it? Gladiator and then bard. All right, we're gonna give it, we'll give it 60 seconds to pick. All right. Open the poll. Did that work? Hopefully that worked. Says Shoshi fan, Shoshi Bot has started a poll for 60 seconds. Minimum votes one. Which model should Shoshi paint? Option is number one is the Gladiator, number two is the Vard. <laughs> I like that it um, it will end the poll for me, but if I want to, I can do, I can end the poll myself. Yep. Is that, yeah, it is exclamation point vote and then the number. Hi, my name is Scott, just subscribed. Oh my gosh, 12, 13 months. 
That's over a year of subscribing to me. I'm going to call you Scott because obviously your name is Scott. But hi, my name is Scott. Many, many thank yous. 13 thank yous for you. You are awesome. Hi, my name is Scott. We got a subscriber. By the way, speaking of subscriptions, this is something that I want to tell you guys about. This month on Friday, this Friday, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a Redgrass Games wet palette for all my subscribers. Right here, we're going to give away, there we go, Everlasting wet palette. We're sponsored by them. So we're going to give away one of those. Um, that'll be a subscriber only giveaway on Friday. And the winner is get Gladiator. Okay, we're going to paint the Gladiator. Woo! I'm going to go look up a picture of her real quick, and then we're going to start painting her. Good job, guys. Thank you for participating. We have good energy. We have good energy today in the chat. Okay, Gladiator. She's, I know she's got some really cool reds in her. Kingdom Death Gladiator. Whoop. I like to use the box art for my inspiration. It takes a lot of the guesswork and the difficulty out of everything. So I just do a quick image search and I find the picture of her. We're gonna pull that out as a new tab. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut and paste that picture into the chat so you guys can take a look at her. Hopefully it won't be a crazy big link. Scriptions, yes, scriptions. <laughs> That's not too big a link. So you can kind of look. That comes from the wiki, the Kingdom Death wiki, vignettewiki.wiki.nocookie.net, Kingdom Death. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no cookie. All right. The wet palette are damn useful and make a huge difference in my painting since Amberton. The seal on it keeps the paint fresh for days. Also, have you tried after you're done painting, put, close it up and put it in the refrigerator? It's kind of the same thing as when, like when you're house painting and you wrap the roller in saran wrap and you put that in the refrigerator, keeps it, it keeps it humid. Hey, Ty Love, how are you? Darling. <laughs> Darling is in our chat as well. All right, where's my gladiator? Here she is. So we're gonna set all these aside so we don't get any paint on the older models. On the other models, let's look at her. She's so pretty, she's so pretty. Now you can see she's got a halberd. Um, I believe in the Echoes of Death 2 is maybe like the Kingsman's. I can't remember whose halberd that is, but she took it. I missed you saying hi, aw, now I saw you. <laughs> yes, we're always happy to have our Ty love in, this, in the chat. So let's look at the back, she's got this cool shield a lot of this stuff is not the same as the stuff that is on um the original gladiator so she's gonna have some differences she's got some i think these are the cat boots and then back here she's got oh somebody remind me which these are i think this might be gorm armor right here on her shoulder twist gaming would know for sure got a halberd got a shield she is pretty. All right, so let's do her skin tone first. Ty, did you guys, did you see our lovely ranger that we painted? This is the last model that we did last, um, last week, Friday. This is the ranger from the Echoes of Death 2. All I've got to do is the ground because there's, there's a few little bumps and stuff. You're going to, you're going to say a higgle is a giggly huggle. <laughs> Might be armor spikes. I think I think you're right. I think it's I think it's from the Gorm. That's what it looks like. That's that's one of the cool things. So like for instance, the Ranger has a lot of the cat, like the cat armor she's wearing. And then where's the other girl? She's got she's got a lot of these bone armor. So maybe from the is there a bonery? I don't think there's a bonery. I don't know what I'm thinking. But this is a, a spine kind of shield. That's pretty cool. Wow, you didn't get to finish seeing your painters? Thank you. And oh yeah, this is the cleric that we did. We did that one on Wednesday. 
And I feel like I need to up her contrast a little bit to match her. She's a lot more muted and a lot more desaturated than this gal is. This one's a lot more cartoonish, but I like them both. All right, armor spikes. We're gonna get going on skin tone. I'm gonna start, so what I've been starting with for my skin tone on, on all, everybody so far, we started with like a reddish, a reddish skin tone to start. Cough bonery. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, Genuine Vision, mad love. Thank you for the host. Guys, Genuine is one of my triptych brothers. If you haven't given him a follow by now, you need to because he's awesome and he's fun to watch. Um, let's see. I think I need to start with something lighter than I was using the burgundy wine as my base for the these these girls have a little bit darker skin tones. And I want to start with something lighter for my gladiator. So why don't I start? Why don't I do my normal green skin tone? And we can we can practice that. There we go. Avenus Green from King from uh, Scale 75. I'm gonna be using a combination of Scale 75. Aw, whoa, Genuine Vision, subscribe 24 months, it's two years. Crikey, I think I need another. <laughs> Let's give some major hype and mad love for two years. Two years of love and subscribing to us. Where are we gonna write that? Let's see, here's my pen. Both of you guys. Mad love to you guys. Don't forget, there's we're doing the subscriber giveaway. Ah, thank you for the host, Twist Gaming. Thank you so much. Two years of sexy Jan times, exactly. So we're starting our base coat with this green. Currently, I asked Pro Krill to come up with a a um, a dark olive green, and they're working on it. So for now, you can just do yellow ochre. Mix with a little black to get a kind of an olive green because they do have those two colors. Who said sub giveaway? Sub giveaway is going to be Friday and we're giving away a Redgrass Games wet palette. And so, yep, that's the wet palette. Exactly. All right. I'm going to put my, instead of putting my glasses, taking glasses off, we're going to do, we're going to, we did this on Friday and I have my handy dandy OptiVisor. You can see there's actually two sets of lenses in here that I can use, and I'm gonna put this on. It's, it helped so much last time. I could just flip it up to read chat, and then I could just put it down to look at my, my stuff, and I can see so much better. Who would have thought that an Optivisor would have helped me? All right, we're gonna put the model right there, and I've got my awesome visor, and we're just gonna start in Notice that I thinned it and I'm letting the, I'm trying to paint pretty smooth and I'm letting the zenithal light kind of shade for me. It's kind of like the idea behind the contrast paints where just, I'm pulling this little blob of water around. Hold on one second, I need a paper towel before things dry too quickly. I like to, I just knocked a whole bunch of paint off my, off my rack. Can't wait until you can combine both Optivisor and the airbrush mask at the same time. Ooh, ooh, I like that idea. That would be kind of cool. Somebody needs to come up with that cat, cat herder. Sounds like a, a something to start to patent. You can hard pass on that. Gives gives a yeah, because a lot of people have, have their own palette. All right, for. First of all, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put a little drop of water on my palette, and that way I can pull paint toward it and thin it out as I need it. And then I blot it to control the water in it. All right, that's drying already. I'm not gonna go back in and mess with that. This second pass, I just need to make sure the under part of the leg is painted as well as I need it to be. Okay. And then same thing goes here. I noticed that I've got a little line there. I should have filled that. Maybe I should wait and fill that. What can we do? We do have some fix it here. It's not gonna cure in time for me to paint over it though. 
Well, what about, what could fix, oh, Bondic. I don't know. Hmm. We could put a little bit, you know what else works real well is a little bit of gloss, gloss medium, gloss varnish. Sometimes we'll go in those small cracks. Well, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna use a Bondic this time. We're gonna use a little gloss medium and then a little prayer because I don't know how well this is gonna work. Ooh, cat hair. We got a cat hair, guys. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Pull that paper towel off. I'm just gonna put that right in there and just let that cure and settle into the crack and hopefully that will work. Uh, somebody told me a long time ago that you can use um, gloss medium, gloss, gloss gel, however you wanna do it. <laughs> Everyone sounds like Bane. Yeah, I, uh, I lost my voice at Gen Con and I've been struggling to get it back ever since. Um, you know, it's funny. All right, just gonna pull that down into the recesses as well. Once that cures, I can add more, more paint to it. See, like this is already, ooh, that's too dark. We can pull that around. My nice green. I only do this on Caucasian skin, the green. So that's why we didn't do it on the other girls because they have darker skin. They can have a darker undertone. And that's why we went with the burgundy wine for their undertones. All right, I think that's good. And then we can do the chest area here. I need a little bit more paint. Mm-hmm. Pull that down into the recesses and then there is some OSL going on. It's getting covered up, but we'll add it back in once once we get more painted. And I just noticed my green is really, really thin. I don't want that. I don't want it so thin that it's not leaving pigment. Gloss medium is light. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> did I check what the cons lost and found desk? What, did I lose something? Oh, wait, what did I miss? What did I miss, Amber? And what, what is the lost and found desk? Did I lose something? Oh, my, my voice. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do a quick coat on her face here. We need all the little green bits and on her fingers. Okay, now I think that's starting to dry. I'm just going to leave it while it's drying. Get the back of this leg. And there, up and there. This part's not as important, but I want to get it anyway. Just up in there. And I'm still trying to decide. I think her armor, her arms are still pretty well armored. So she she doesn't have a ton of skin showing. A little bit back here on the back of her neck. Um, she's actually pretty covered. I guess a little bit right back there. Yeah. Okay, things need to dry. We can do another thin coat over the leg here. So I see this green is um, a sedimentary color. Sedimentary means you're gonna see the pigment. It's gonna be like, let me show you. So yeah, it doesn't show up on my finger, but when you're painting on something, it's you can see like it almost looks like little bits of dust and pigment. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna look at my, okay, she's got a beautiful bronze helmet and, and boob armor, and then she's got, her shield has some gold elements to it, which I think I can keep. I think that could be really cool. 
And then her halberd, we'll just keep that kind of gold as well. Looks like there's also some darker silver, maybe. I'm not, I've been doing non-metallic metal on these guys, so it's gonna be a little tricky because I'm not the best at non-metallic metal, but we'll try. And I think we'll do this, um, this bit right here red, and we'll also do her cape red. And then she's got a skirt, which doesn't really show up in the, I guess we'll make that, we'll kind of go like, maybe blue, I don't know. She's Amazonian, we'll kind of go, we'll figure something out. I think that will work though. Maybe white, white could look pretty. All right, getting that last little chest bit covered, there we go. All right, I think this is dry and I can paint this now. Does it cover? It might cover good enough. The nice thing about this model is it is mine. If it were a commission, I would absolutely go back and fix that. But the benefit of it being mine is I don't have to do that if I don't want to. Okay, fingers are painted chest is painted too. Okay, we need it all nice and dry before we start on the rest. And I think for her, we're gonna go with a warm pinky kind of skin. Let's see if I've got, whoop, I've got, nope, that's Moonstone Alchemy, we don't want that. We want basic flesh and, mm, might start with a little black or brown to begin with. I kind of want, I basically want a triad of my skin tones here. That might be way too light. I need something one step up, not that far up. That's too dark, maybe like that. That could work. Wait, do you see how this is so much more orangey? Hmm, okay, so. No, nope. well, possibly. These are three completely different paint brands. They're really close together also, so I don't think that's gonna work. All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make, we're gonna make a gradient with these three. So we've got our tan shadow, we've got basic flesh, and we've got pale skin. So our pale skin is gonna be our, our final highlight. I'm gonna put these on here in a row. You're gonna see how I'm gonna do this so that we have our gradient. And I wanna spread this out. Give me one second one, I'll check chat. I am, okay, so we're gonna spread that out because that's gonna be the mixture that we're gonna mix with the basic flesh. So we're gonna put that in the middle, right? And then if, try to make a, spread this back toward this and make a 50-50 mixture of the two somewhere in there, right? So that's a, our first gradient and then we're gonna stretch this one out and make a 50-50 gradient with the basic flesh. But the idea is to have a full range of values to be able to choose from. See, that is a big jump, but we're gonna make, we're gonna make a middle color here, right here. So that's not a big jump. That's much better. I'll probably end up using more of that and less of the fair as we go. Okay, now I can check chat. <laughs> oh, we got a raid? Woo, thank you so much. Who do we get raided by? Sovereign Three, Mad Love. Thank you so much for that. How is your stream? Ravage, one, two, one, thank you so much. How are you? Okay, I gotta go back up and look. <laughs> what I miss? All right, Tr Tr uh, Torelio PT says, getting back from Gen Con with jet lag means awake to watch a stream while in Australia. Yay, how did you like Gen Con? Was it, is it the first time you went? I might, wait, wait, I missed a whole bunch of chat. 
Okay, gloss medium is life. Am I able to stop a gifted sub? No, I don't think so, Duran Spain. I think uh, everybody can just gift you whether you want it or not. I've been, in, I've been in chats before where people have gifted and I didn't really want one, but it, you know, it was nice of them. It just happens. Nothing you can do. You gifted me a sub math, might you want to support her? Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> You can just, um, if you want to support me, you can either um, give somebody else in the chat a sub, which would be really cool. And by doing that, I think you just click on a person's name or you can actually just sub and then and it'll give you the option to, to gift one. Another thing you can do is throw bits at me. Bits are another way. I actually get all of the bits if you send me bits. Whereas with a sub, um, Twitch takes like half. Yay, Giggling get, Geek Get. Oh, I like that name. Got some people in here. Raid, raid, raid. It ends in three days, so you've already paid for the second tier. Okay. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Stream broke. Oh, no, but you made the best of it. I understand. It's always uh, frustrating when streams break. There's a Twitch setting that stops. Oh, there is a Twitch setting? I didn't know that. Trelio says it was great. Not the first time I've been there. Oh, how was the melted chocolate? Yes. <laughs> I actually ate the whole thing for lunch <laughs> the day you gave it to me. <laughs> that was so funny. I always forget that your, your screen name is Trelio also. Friday hangout was cool. Yes, it was. Okay. We're ready. We're ready to paint. So I'm going to grab some of this tanned flesh, and this is where I'm starting with. I'm going to put my visor down so you guys know that I am painting. Now notice that I'm pushing toward the bottom of her chest here because that's where the darkest part's going to be. And it looks like this paint is relatively Transparent. I'm trying to keep it somewhat thin. Same thing here. Leaving that little green shadow in the middle. I'm going to come back to that later and smooth that out some. I don't want that to be solid green. Okay, again, we're coming back toward the area where we want the most paint deposited. I need more water in my, in my brush. I want this relatively thin, thin layers. There we go. There, that's better. So Trillio, you're on you're on US time right now, time zone. That's awesome. <laughs> well, it's pretty early right now in Gen in uh, in Australia, isn't it? It's like really early in the morning. Okay. I want it thin because I want that green kind of show through a little bit. I'm going to pull this down. The th okay, so the trouble with this mask is I'm seeing every sme every single little brush stroke, which is good and bad because I want <laughs> I want things to be smooth. But I'm not used to being able to see this well when I'm painting, which is funny. All right. That's the first step. And then we're going to come around back here. Same thing. I need to add a little more water on my palette. I always like to keep a bead of water to pull, pull my paint into it. Gloss medium is life. funny. Okay, that's good. Let's get this little bit back there in the hands. I'm going to use a little bit thicker paint for the hands because they're going to be much smaller and I want the, I don't want to transition nearly as much with those. Make sure I'm on camera.
So I kept my, my green really close to the crevice of where her armor is. And then I'm using that as my drop shadow. Okay, that looks good. So, flip this. We're gonna bring, this part is the most highlighted, right? I'm bringing my paint up to that. Same thing, this is gonna be the most highlight. So the gloss medium helped a little bit. It didn't, it didn't help a ton, but it helped a little bit, and that's okay. All right, that's, that's pretty good for my first coat. Oh, oh my goodness. That was <laughs> both brilliant. Melted chocolate is painter's fuel, and yeah, my screen name is a bit stealth mode. That's totally fine. <laughs> oh, Slag Bomb, thank you for five months. Let's go show. I'm guessing those J's were supposed to be H's. <laughs> Slag Bomb, thank you for the sub, subscription. It's so funny that Flickster always gets on me for saying sub. B A U M, Slag Bomb. <laughs> It's just gone 9 p.m. That's not too bad. <laughs> so, ju shu ju sh <laughs> seems fun, it does. <laughs> All right, now we're going closer to the more middle of our gradient. We're gonna, I'm gonna mix a little bit of that first color with it so I have something close to it. And putting this back down again, again. This time, notice I'm gonna it's thinner. I'm gonna adjust my shadows. Sorry, I'm not gonna adjust my, so let me try to explain what I'm doing here. I put that layer a little bit further down the leg because we're kind of doing a layering technique. It's a mixture of a layering technique and a glazing technique. We're, we're layering a glaze is what we're doing. Back here, I don't think it matters quite as much. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just want the lightest part to be the top of top of her boot there, right there. And again, a little bit of that. Now, on the hands, we're gonna use thicker paint and we're gonna go straight for the highlight with just a layer. And I'm gonna be very careful not to paint inside between the fingers. See that? Leaving that little bit between the armor and the fingers. So that's dark, right? Same thing here. Let's do this. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm gonna be at ReaperCon very soon. It's gonna be in two weeks, I can't believe it. Two weeks to ReaperCon. All right, now, again with the layering. See how I started about halfway down her chest? And I'm pulling that bead of water and it, it makes its own natural gradient. And this is thinner paint too, so I can kind of go over this green a little bit, a little bit more closely. Um, okay. She's about halfway down her leg there. Wait till everything is dry before you do another coat. Let me look. Just dropping in, I hope you don't mind me asking which paints I'm using. Right now we're using a mixture of Reaper and um, Reaper and Scale 75. They're both matte. So that's the important thing to remember is that you want both paints to be, all your paint to be matte or all your paint to be satin. Don't try to mix them. Hi, Mikolas. <laughs> How are you doing? How was your weekend? 
Okay, so now I'm onto her face. I gotta go back to the the darker shadow for her face because I missed it. I completely didn't paint it. Maybe a little bit on purpose. I'm gonna right underneath her eyes. I'm gonna hit that with the shat with the uh, tan shadow from Reaper, and I'm just painting as much as I can, leaving that green in the darkest shadows and on the sides of her nose a little bit. Okay. This is a tricky part because she's got this helmet on. I want to keep some shadows up by her eyes so I'm not kind of messing with her eyes really. All right, now I'm going to go into the mid-tone, which is our, what is it? Is the basic flesh, basic flesh from scale 75. And again, I need to keep it thin, 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 pulling our layers toward the, the armor because that's, I want the top of her leg to be the brightest. Okay. This can have a little bit more green because that's more in shadow. Oh, I forgot her hands. This is her other little hand. Again, trying not to hit the shadows. I want to leave those green. And I'm using a little bit thicker paint because the contrast is much starker, smaller, smaller areas. All right, this is the mid-tone again. We're going to pull that, pull that down. Slowly getting there. Now, right now, everything is kind of blah and kind of flat, and that's because we haven't gotten our highlights in yet. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to fly to the States for fun. Yes, Amberton, you do. Uh, Adepticon or year, next year's ReaperCon. I recommend, um, yeah, Gen Con is really busy. I rec and especially it's not so much just for miniatures. It's more for everything. Oh, you got your Pro Curls and your model Creature Caster. Awesome. Durnsbane, you're going to have to let me know how that goes. Play around with those. Slugs, slug salter, vegan. <laughs> nice Katie and model, my bro might have picked up some for you at Gen Con, awesome. Mahroon, guys, if you haven't followed Mahroon, she is another favorite of my streamer friends. She's awesome. Give her a follow. Um, model Newbie says, you said last week you like minis with dynamic pose and a clear face. Have you done any Raging Heroes? I haven't in a long time. I did some for a commission about two years ago. Wait, yes, two years ago, and I haven't seen any come my way since then. And they are pretty nice. Yeah, they, they were a little difficult to clean up. Palace of Pep says, I want to bring paints to practice the classes I take. Do you have a list for the paint colors? Um, only for the skin tones class. I still am in the process of making my PDFs, so I haven't done that yet. Palace, we're going to be making videos for each one of those classes. I'm going to be streaming the class, essentially, so you'll get to see everything. And what's great about that is that after the class, after the one-on-one -on -one time you get in the class, you'll be able to go back and reference the videos. I'll put those up on YouTube. I like to make sure that people actually retain what I teach them in my classes. So that you know whatever they learn is 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 being able to be used, and then they can go back and forth, rewind it, watch it, remember. Okay, so we're ready. We've got flatness right now. We've got flatness. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next color, which is our mid color between the. This is gonna be the brightest color yet, and I've. I need to be careful to thin this. It is a bit of a jump, but we're gonna we're gonna temper it. You'll see. We're gonna temper it with a wash. I'll show you why. My voice. I sound like I sound like a Bane. Who is it that said that? 
so funny. All right, notice how those shadows just kind of appear now that we've got that bright color on there. I'm just working, working the paint so I don't have any brush strokes. There's, there's a lot of them so far because I can see everything with my visor. But everything is nice and smooth. See how that kind of gets darker up there? Don't worry about that right now. We're, we're gonna we're gonna keep that the way that is. Same thing. I need to keep things thin. In fact, I'm gonna use my cheat cheat that I learned from Julio Cabos because these are flat paints. This is 50-50. This is a watercolor brush pen. If you want one of these, you can go to my profile and there's a Amazon like wish list type of not wish list, but a uh, show she recommends full of links. And I'm affiliated, so anything you buy through that link, I get a little kickback, which is really nice. Anyway, this is 50-50 retarder and 50-50 water. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on it to help with the flow and also help keep, keep things from being chalky. Yes, oh yes, we're gonna do a paint along. So Model Newbie just brought up, we're. A, a paint along. I just sent out the first feeler email to those of you guys who did the, the paint along with me last year. Was it last year already? The, Carlo, the Kyle Raddick bust. Well, that's looking much better. That, that drying retarder made a big difference. We're gonna put some up here too. Just a, just a little bit. So, if you are interested in the paint along that we're going to be doing here on the channel, it's going to be sub only, okay? So that may affect whether or not you decide to do it. But we will be putting the video eventually on YouTube, so you don't have to be a sub if you want to eventually watch it on YouTube. Also, if you are a um, if you are a mod or if you are a VIP, you will have access to this video as well. So you don't have to be a sub. If you're a mod or VIP, you'll, you'll be able to watch these videos. All right, so that's, that's pretty light. I don't know about that. That really helped on our chest up here though. I think it did. All right, now I'm gonna go to her face. You didn't get the email, I, I sent it, because Amberton, you don't live in the US, you weren't in part of the US group order. So what you gotta do, um, tell you what, I will tell you, this might make things easier. If you wanna um, message me on either the Discord, which we just put the Discord link up. I'm trying to think the best way to do this. Hmm. I tell you what, I will put up a feeler post if you're interested in doing the group order. It's a U.S. group order, so if you don't live in the U.S., you're going to have to order directly, but we'll give you a coupon code. Um, so don't worry, you'll be able to get a discount as well. I know that a lot of you guys here on the, on the Monday channel are from the Europe and the U.K. We're, we're going to make it possible for you guys to get the coupon. Frank Dino, how are you? By the way, do you like the way I paint and also explain painting skins? It's enjoyable. Is it kind of like Bob Ross-like? Is it, is it relaxing? Me, 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 raises hand, shakes furiously. <laughs> can new people join if we aren't subs? You can, but the videos, the paint along itself will be sub only. So, but you can join the, you can join the group order even if you're not a sub. So no problem. As I recall, you're gonna sort out a coupon code. Exactly, we're gonna do that. So, um, I wanna give out my email address. So, if you're interested in getting in on the group order in the US, it's for the US and North American group order. If you live in Canada, New Mexico, or the United States, that's what this is for. If you're interested in doing the paint along otherwise, We'll figure out another way you can let me know so that I can get you the coupon code. I think we'll, we'll make a web form 
and I'll, put, I'll give that out. I'll give out the web form when I'm all done. Yeah, Palace of Pep. I'll definitely, you guys will be part of the, part of the coupon code people if you're in, if you're in Europe. Because there's definitely going to be a coupon for anybody who doesn't do the U.S. group order. Notice how I'm building up lighter and lighter. Oh, I need the, this stuff. Just put a little bit. This does reactivate a little bit with, uh, with water, so you do need to be careful not to put too much on, or it will and put a little bit more light. We're gonna get that group order done before October, or let's, sorry, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do the order, order before October. So August, September, so we have all of September to put that together. So I'm thinking we're gonna be much more organized this time because we, we will have all the experience of before under our belt. Although I have to say, I feel like the group order went really smooth last year. I was pretty happy. The paint along, First of all, I want to tell somebody something. If you were part of the paint along last time and you pestered me, you know who you are. If you pestered me about it, you kind of helped inadvertently cause me to delay it because I got all like freaked out about it and anxiety and, and perfectionism and I felt like I had to make it perfect and then finally, it was like a year before we finally finished it and then I was just like, we just got to do it and I was able to do it. But don't pester. <laughs> you guys can ask about the paint along. I'm gonna get this paint along set up before the end of the year. I've already promised that. <laughs> Lurking while eating ice cream back in a bit. <laughs> nice. Points at, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No need to f call people out. No need to call people out. They know who they are. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're not, we're not going to pester me every day. Are we going to do the group order? When's the group order? It's the group order, you know, not the group order, sorry, but the, the paint along. The, the group order went fine. We didn't have any problems with the group order. All right, she's pretty fair. Guys, she's pretty fair. All right, I'm gonna give it one more bright highlight up here. And then we're gonna do our glaze, which is necessary for these skin tones. Um, up here in her hand. Oh, I need the brighter color. Lots of highlights right here. Notice that I did not go all the way down the, down the hand with the, with the highlights, because that's what it is. It's just a highlight. You're getting the very top part of the fingers and the thumb and everything, nothing else. <laughs> ah, you guys are funny. I was just thinking about points at Catlian. Catlian's like points at, that's so funny. All right, let's get this in there. All right, that's all drying. We can still see the, the demarcations of the different paint, but we're gonna fix that. Thank you for the host, Mikolas. Rob Tau, Robert, wait, Robert, how do I say this? Robert Tau, Roberto, 831, is that right? Roberto? <laughs> or is it Robert Ow? One or the other. So, um, <laughs> Roberto. Oh, perfect. Barking Darrow, thank you for the raid. I know what a Darrow is. Is that sort of a, like an Australian Darrow? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Snowyak. Hi. How are you? All right. So let me get her face real quick with this lighter highlight. And then we'll get in there with, with um, so I'm just going to hit the nose, right? And then under the eyes. A little bit on top of the eyes, just a little bit. Chin. She's so strong, she's so stern. 
a little bit above the lip there. All right, that's probably good enough. Everything kind of looks like a mess right now. That's okay. Now we need um, Reichland Flesh Shade is what I'm going to use for her. There we go. Ooh, we're almost out. Oh, nose. The model you can paint you you paint can be a good guide for the new Warcry models too. Oh, is it? That's cool. All right, I'm just pouring a little bit of the Reichland Flesh Shade. There's almost none left into my. Yeah, that's pretty gone. I think I've got some more somewhere. I always buy new ones and then I lose them in my studio. You did a Google. You, you had did the, you had to Google Darrow? You didn't know? <laughs> yeah, I think a, a Darrow in um, in Australia. Look at that! Isn't that isn't that awesome? See, in all that the wash, what it did was it's gonna bring out our shadows, but it's also gonna kind of blend all of the brush strokes together. It's gonna melt them. Pull that into the crevice. So there's no tea stain. See, just like this. Thought Citadel came in pots. I put, I rebottled mine because I'm a complete klutz. And if I don't rebottle mine, see how I'm pulling that down into the armor? That's looking good too. If I don't rebottle mine, I'll spill them. I always spill them. Let's put this on every bit that has a little bit of. See that? Looking good. Now, again, things are still not in the optimal. I'm going to get a little bit of this. Medium, I'm going to go up in here because that is a little bit too stripey for me. And just blend that in there. So the gloss medium helps quite a bit, I think. Same thing right here. I want, I want that mid-tone. I don't want that green part right there. All right, that's gonna dry. You dropped your pot last week and you understand why people find them frustrating. Yes, it's extremely frustrating because they cost a lot. They cost a lot and I don't enjoy spending a lot of money on something that I end up spilling. Okay, so things are drying. I'm, notice I'm not touching it right now. I can touch the face because the face is dry. And I'm just going to go back in here. And get my highlight. Right under the eyes is the lightest point. And then the nose is also the lightest. And then a little bit of the chin. And on the sides of her chin, because I don't want her to look like she has a beard. DWs, <laughs> yes, exactly, and that's why they—that's why they have not fixed their pots, and that's why their paint dries out too, because the, they know that people will just buy more and not switch brands. <laughs> Flying monkey paints, how are you? All right, I need to do a something. There we go. Now my highlight. This is my lightest highlight. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to soft blend that in. There we go. Same thing right here. I want soft blends. This is brush control right here. This is practice. This isn't going to come super easily, this kind of mopping. All right, I need to thin it. 
Right here is going to be thin. There we go. Perfect. So that, that looks good. And then same thing on this side, right down the middle. Yay. Taking a look again. Pro, Protoluz. Thank you for the follow. Did I say your name right? Protoluz. What am I, what are you nudging me about? You better not be, you better not be trolling me, Luminous. Gotta head off. Oh, giggling, get. we don't allow that, I'm sorry. That's not allowed. We, uh, you got, you can't, you can't, you can't promote your own stream in my channel like that. <laughs> Guys, if you're a new streamer, it's like real bad streamer etiquette to say that you're gonna go stream. Yeah, just don't ever do that again, Giggling Geeky Cat. Don't do it in anybody's channel. Thank you for the follow, Flying Monkey Paints. I, I did it too when I first started. I kind of did it in Flickster stream. I was like, I was I didn't tell him I was going to go stream. I told him I was thinking about learning to stream, but it's it's still it's it's pretty. He was like, hmm. I was, he, he thought that was sketch, and I ended up apologizing to him afterward because I realized I was like, did I just do something? I'm, you know, strip on some etiquette. <laughs> Later, Luna, you go away for two minutes and you clean. Yeah, no problem. I want you to come back, okay? We'll end up being friends, just like Flickster and me. <laughs> Lady Luna says, I, I go away for two minutes to clean my 3D printer and you've gotten that far already. Yeah, we're fast. We're fast here. All right. It's looking good. I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna mess with it too much more because I wanna work up some of the rest to get a feel for what colors the rest of the skin's gonna have. <laughs> oh good, I'm so glad. <laughs> I always give people the benefit of the doubt. All right, um, let's see. We need to figure out some bronze. And bronze metallic metal is not so easy. So let me look at this. It looks like, hmm, we'll go with browns to start. So let's get out. Where are my colors? Oh, they're all on the floor. Give me one second. I gotta get my pro acrylics. Actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna use Arabic Shadow and Gobi Brown. That that looks like it'll be a good start for bronze. And I need to I need to look up actual bronze metal so I can get an idea of what colors are in it. So when I'm when I'm in a when I don't know what colors to choose, get references. Let's do bronze helmet and see what we get for that. Ah, there we go, ooh. Okay, so bronze is, the biggest difference between bronze and gold is bronze has always got all kinds of colors and patina and stuff all over it. Got a lot of green in it. I found a Corinthian helmet that looks pretty dang cool. Let me pull that open, open in a new tab. Okay. So brown, ochre, white. It's very similar. 
It's just got more brown in it than, than gold does. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. We need the brown tool. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna start with a brown, a dark brown. Like a, hmm. Let's do this black leather, actually. It's almost like a purpley instead of brown. We're gonna, we're gonna try some new stuff, some new experimenting stuff, okay guys? So whenever I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna tell you. Indian shadow is lovely, yeah. So this is, this is black leather. And I'm just gonna base coat the helmet with that first. We're gonna do a lot of stippling of our light, our light source on top. Okay. All of that gets painted. <laughs> Indian Shadi, yeah, Mitchell, Mitchell Day, thank you for the follow, how are you? All right, I'm gonna put my visor down. We're gonna paint on this lovely purpley color for our dark shadows, because we want, okay, so this is gonna be, so you can see, we're gonna have some, I'm gonna thin this out a little bit because on this side of the helmet, there is some OSO. All right, <laughs> I just realized what I gotten myself into. We're doing non-metallic metal and OSL on it. Oy. A little bit extra work today that I'm not used to doing. Well, if I fail, you'll get to see me make mistakes and figure it out, right? That's what we do. All right, I'm gonna get all of this down there. Front of this part as well. Does anybody know what the nose guard is called? Is there a name for it? I'm sure there's a name for every part of the armor that I don't know. All right, that actually looks pretty cool right there, that yellow. Stippling, give it a beaten metal, exactly. Yup, yup, yup. Doing great, awesome. Welcome to the class. So we're trying stuff that is not been tried before. And we're gonna see what happens. So like I said, we need the ochre. This one is Iroko. Um, put that on there. I need to look at my reference again because we've got a purpley color to start. We need the Iroko and then I kind of had to squint at it. It looks like there's a orangey color in it. I'm going to use a wash for, oh no, I can use this. Maybe. We'll, we'll try the pumpkin orange from Reaper. Oh, actually, I lied. No, that's not right. That's not orangey enough. We'll try the pumpkin orange from Reaper and glaze it. We'll glaze it on there. I'm just putting all these colors on here that I'm seeing. And then we've got, we need Let's use this, um, not this one, but the pale flesh. Where is it? Pale flesh will be our highlight, and then we'll, we'll use white as our final highlight. That looks okay. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to sketch. I'm going to sketch on my lights, which are going to start over here. And I'm going to use this pale flesh. This is so hard, guys. Watch me complain. If you don't, if you don't learn if you're afraid of making mistakes. Exactly. Learning, yes. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna paint our edges first. So we're gonna go up on the top here. I'm using the, the moon ray, or the pale flesh because I'm too chicken to use the white yet. I'm just gonna, I see a little bit of a, a bend in the helmet here. On the edge there. Now I need a blunt, a blunt brush. Where is, I have a little synthetic brush that I've been using. I could use this little dry brush also. 
I think I'm going to use the synthetic brush. Where is it? Here. This will work. So this is a um, chisel brush. This is one of the monument artillery, artillery, artillery brushes. Can't say it. And I'm going to go ahead and try stippling, stippling with just the pointed part. It's a synthetic brush, so it's going to be a little bit more easy to do this. You used to do models as a kid in the 70s when D&D first came out. It was never very good. Now that you're a no longer working, you were thinking about doing models again. Boy, that is awesome. I used to, you know, play D&D um, &D in the red box set in the 70s and like early, early 80s with my friends. All right, see how I'm starting on the halberd because I think it's going to be easier for me to get the edges painted. See, we're starting that. We're sketching. Where is the light is what we are thinking the whole time we're sketching. We're thinking, where is the light? See? And I'm essentially, I'm drawing. So if you don't have as much drawing experience, get a reference and see if you can copy it. All right, so now here I'm tapping. Tapping on the top of that little bit. I'm going to take glasses off for a second because I need to be able to see even more. And I'm just going to tap for my highlight right here where and it's okay if it's like looking model because like we said we're going to try to get that kind of beaten effect. I don't know if this is going to work. All right and then Try to dry brush a little bit of this bit. So this side is the side where the light's hitting. So that's where I'm brushing the most. Okay. Put this side here. Not as high highlights. Not as high highlights because but notice that and then again over here on the top of this part you can make a little bit of a highlight right there just a small one notice it's not as big not as shiny hmm okay We've got our sketch in. Now we need to glaze, and I'm going to go back to my sharp brush, my Winsor Newton. We're going to glaze in some different tones. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I'm going to use the, we'll go with the orange first. We'll just thin it, thin it, thin it. See how it's nice and watery looking? Can you see that? That watery glaze? Oh, I'm dropping things. And I'm glazing it over the highlight I've already got there. We're going to be going back and forth with things. I might need a little bit more. Pull some of that water off. A little bit more orange on this side here. Again, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. So we basically did two steps up and one step down on that. And I'm going to let that dry because I want that to stay. So far, so good. I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with my ochre and I'm going to stipple again while it's still a little bit wet. Ochre is a nice 
um, it's not transparent. It's more um, like orange is transparent, but that's why we used it first. The ochre is going to be a lot more um, opaque, opaque. So we can we can stipple with that a little better. Give it that beaten beaten metal look. Hopefully. Wait, it's starting to work, guys. I think it's working. I'm going to paint my edge over here. Leaving that that burgundy in my shadow. And I need to go in and get all my edges because edges are so important. Okay. That's looking cool. Let's flip it and put my glasses on. I see you guys are talking to me. Hi, Pascal. How's it going? Jacob Jansen, five month streak. Show, 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 she. You're awesome. Aw, thank you. Um, Jacob Jansen, I have something for you. A while back, I don't know if you know this, but you won this. See, you've got your name on it, and I need to send it to you. And I think I need you to send me your information so I can send it to you. Let's do this, Jacob Jansen. Mad love. Thank you for the subscribe, the subscription. Don't forget, subscriptions are going to be um, what's going to make you eligible for the giveaway on Friday. Redonate that. Okay. Okay, I'll remember, let's see, I'm gonna write redonate on it. Okay, we're gonna donate that out. We'll do that, we'll do that as a giveaway when we do the um, subscriber, subscriber giveaway. How's that? It's starting to look like, kinda like a beaten helmet, huh? It's looking like leather to me. We need to get those really high highlights in there first, don't we? Non-metallic copper bronze helmet. Yes. Yes, Paul Gima. All right. I'm going to do my glaze again of, of orange. A thin glaze just in the areas here. I hope it's going to look good. I hope. Starting to look like metal, maybe. It's interesting looking, huh? All right, now let me look at my reference again. If you want copper bronze, you might want a bit of red in there to avoid the leather look. Let's, yeah, I was gonna look at my, I want a bronze helmet. Um, I think it actually needs a slight bit of like a golden yellow. Let me see if I can make a golden yellow with a... Hmm. <laughs> a little bit of red, yeah. Let me try a little bit of Indian shadow. We talked about that a little bit. Let's put a little bit. That might be too... Yeah, I'm seeing it's it's closer to the gold. Let's try this reddish tone. So maybe that'll keep it from looking looking too much like leather. It does look cool as a leather helmet. <laughs> Interesting. I've never seen a value undercoat with color tinting glaze for non-metallic metal. I'm just like I said. I'm just trying this. I don't know really quite if it's gonna work, Paul Gima. This is not like any kind of Tried true method of, of any sort. Oh, kind of like that. That's pretty. 
You just put little bits. In fact, it's going to need that red in there anyway because her whole feather thing is going to be having reds in it and that's going to be reflected in the metal, right? Okay, so now we need some of the highlights in order to bring it back to a highlight. I need to try to get this anyway. I think it needs that yellow in there. Let's try, let's try this Tanir yellow and mix a little bit of it with that orange to get our golden and see what happens. Do it like a cold gold, but darker if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. I think it's, okay, that's kind of. You're using thicker paint for non-metallic metals because of strong contrast? Yep, yep, yep. This is one of those cases where you might want to avoid using an off-white that looks like skin color. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Getting lots of advice, guys, but I, sometimes I need to work it out. You tend to do your metals pristine. Nope, this is going to be beaten. It's going to be beaten and dirty. We're going to paint it dirty to start. All right, let's see if this yellow works better. Ooh, that's much better. I like that. That that is helping a lot as far as the keeping it looking like leather. All right, let me see. Oh, kind of. Let's add a little white now. Let's see what happens. Just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit of white. Go back with that yellow back over here. Hmm, it's getting there. The thing about non-metallic metal is that it usually, <laughs> it usually comes together at the very last bit, right? The highlight wouldn't be that big. No, you're right. That's why I need to glaze it back again a little bit. Let me look. Mm, let's do the orange glaze. And a little ochre. There was a lot more ochre. That's the thing is it's so small. Yeah, that highlight got huge. What happened? That's better. We're getting it eventually. A little bit more ochre now. Now it went leather on me. All right. Hmm. I think I liked it better when it had the, the yellow. I don't have the right yellow though. I need, let's try the ochre. Maybe Sahara. Sahara yellow is a lot more, a lot more actual yellow, not so 
not so um, desaturated like like ochre. Sorry about that. I'm bumping it with my visor. There we go. Hey, Trillian. It's so good to see you. Yay. <laughs> Looks like that Twitch helps you fix everything, Trillian. Mad love. Give some hype to Trillian, guys. 15 months. Catch a couple highlights on that. Um, one for the Zenith and one for the, for the Lantern. Yeah, for sure. Time for you to go to sleep. Have a good night, Frick Dino. What if you add a smidge of green to it? Guys, I love all your advices and it, it does help, but I, I, I do need to work a little bit of this out on my own too. Especially since this is brand new. Sometimes that, there we go. All right. I think that is what I want that side to look like. And we'll do this side a little different. So what were we doing? We did a little bit of, we could put a little green in there. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I like that. It's pretty. That's that cold metal look that, that it needed, isn't it? Just a smidge, just a smidge of the greens. Actually, it looks better on this side because of the yellows. Okay, so this was the one where it has a brighter highlight. I'm going to try this Sahara yellow with the, the bright, brighter, brighter Tanir yellow. And we're going to go just a little bit right here. Let's see if I can get my, this is the brightest highlight part, except for I need the white too. No problem, Slagbum. I appreciate it. Naoki, uh, let's see, Saito, Saito, Naoki Saito. Thank you for the follow. I hope I said your name right. Ooh. That's a bright one. There we go. Now I'm going to try to hit some of the lights up here. Again with the edges. And we need um, maybe an ink or something. I think that might be also what we're missing. Maybe a little bit of Lamenters. We'll try that. See what happens when I add my light back up here. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of this Reichlin flesh shade back here to give me a little depth underneath stuff. That gives it a little bit more contrast as well. Hopefully it won't read as a leather. I kind of like that. All right, I need a break from that for a minute because that is something new, something uh, I'm not used to. I'm gonna do, where is my pro krill? There we go. And I need a dark red, like this blood red right here for her. There we go. 
We're gonna do blood red, deep, deep red for her crest. And a little bit of this, what is this, um, black leather as well. Start with the black leather mixed, mixed with the deep red. So it's both. Woot. I'm glad that got sorted out so quickly, Trillian. I know that you were not having fun with that. All right, we're gonna do a little wet blending with this. Makes it fast. <laughs> you sorted your hacker out and continuing subscriptions uninterrupted. Awesome. That's great. Oh man, I just noticed there is a little bit with that is where sprue was. I might have to cut off later. That's okay. But you'll just paint it for now. Mm. I'm gonna add a smidge of orange over here. Just a bit, because that's gonna get highlighted in more. Orangey red with the light on it. So the other thing about non-metallic metals is you gotta think about what is around it. You gotta add in the things that are reflecting in it. So there are gonna be some reds in this helmet because of that. That looks that looks like metal to me a little bit. I mean, not exactly, but it, I think it will by the time we get done. At least it's on its way. What do you think? That needs a highlight. Gloss medium. <laughs> so funny, Lamunas. They took a lot of money, oh my goodness. All right, a small highlight with this Tenere yellow. I'm just going to put it in right there. Is that starting to feel like metal a little bit? Maybe. Maybe. We always try to do the rule of cool. Does it does it at least look cool, even if it doesn't look like metal? So, oh, so the thing about mattes, matte paints, is red is one of those colors that almost never looks good as a completely matte color. I'm adding just a little bit of dots. A little bit of dots of, of, of reflected light in the helmet right there. Mm. Let's see what happens when we put just a little bit of like turquoise kind of patina. I think that will help it also. We've got Carib Caribbean blue. You've never seen me with the hood on. I know, I just started using it and it, it works really well so far. It makes it a lot easier to watch chat, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull this down. Let's see, let me look at my reference. Okay, we're gonna just put little dots of patina in here. Just little spots. And I think that will really help. I'm 
miniaturize metal. That's a lot. It seems to help a little bit. I take it takes away the leather look, that's for sure. does something I don't know we, we lost something again there's this is that's the trouble with um, with such a tiny model is you get a little bit of something different and then all of a sudden your your original color is lost boom See if I can get this. L bringing back some of the gold and yellow parts might help it a lot. I'm just putting ochre as all my highlights now here. Seems to be working. near yellow again. That's my bright highlight hopefully for the gold color. And then a, a little bit of white, just so the white you have to be more careful with. It needs to go in spots like just part of the highlight, not the whole highlight. Oh, now I gotta look at it on this cam and see how it's looking. Eee. It's something. Hi, Captain Madlove. How you doing? Never seen me though. <laughs> Want you to know our meeting and small amount of chat time was one of the best parts of Gen Con. Aw, I appreciate that. It was really fun meeting you. I, l I actually lurked in your stream a little bit. Um, the other day I saw you painting. I like to lurk. All right. I feel like I need to not fuss on her so much. It's almost like she's like this kind of crazy historical model. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna do a demi metal because she's not getting quite the look that I want. Demi metal is when you add just a little bit of metallic. It's not quite a little cheap, but it kind of is. A little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna do Victorian gold. And I'm just going to tap a little bit in some spots. <laughs> Ooh, that just leaked everywhere. 
my goodness. All right. This is something that Julio Cabos taught me, and it'll it'll still have that metallic. Here we go. It'll have a non-metallic look to it, but it's actually going to feel more. There we go. That's not bad. Just a smidge. I think part of the issue is that I kind of want her helmet to be brighter than it actually is. So that means I need something else. Let's try this Victorian brass. We're kind of just trying to work out non-metallic metal for this, this model that is slowly adding a little bit of metallic to it. So it's not, it's a demi-metallic now. Just a little bit. Okay, I like that. Do you see that splat? I did not mean to do that. Man. I think I must have hit that with my finger by accident. I'm going to make something up back there. Let's use a little bit of this metallic again. Better, it's better. All right, something else that's really important with non-metallic metals that I forgot about is your shadows. And I need to use an ink or something. Let's do, hmm, do I have a transparent purple in here? Here we go, transparent purple from Pro Acryl. Let's try it. We'll use that in the shadows on underlining everything that gets a drop shadow. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We're trying it. I hope you guys get something out of when I just kind of throw stuff together. Oh, I kind of like that a lot. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. That was very cool looking. Even if it doesn't look how I thought it would look in my mind, it's definitely getting that rule of cool right now. Especially with that purple. Okay. So other than uh, what was some of the other best parts of Gen Con for you, Captain Mad Love? All right, there we go. Hmm. Does anybody getting a bronze feel from that? I'm hoping. <laughs> Get some more orange in there. Just a smidge. All right, I think I need to paint her hair, which is gonna be blonde. Let me take a look, let me take a look. Go back to my, yeah, she's definitely got beautiful blonde hair. We're gonna start out with um, the ochre for that, and then we'll, we'll highlight up. 
we'll use some purples in there too. But I want I want to start with the dark kind of ochre color for her hair. We want real we want real realism with her with her helmet, which may not work for this cartoony kind of look that we're going for, but whatever, it will be okay. There we go. I accidentally stuck my brush in the Sahara. It's a lot more yellow, but that's okay because that's getting more light anyway. Good, 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 good. Oh, there's a little bit more hair down on her shoulder that I missed. And I think some of this is like actually lion fur. So um, let's go back in there with the tanned flesh and get that. In between there. I think that's what we did for the other the other lion fur. Alright, what do you guys think? There we go. Time to highlight her hair too. Let's use the Sahara and a little bit of this orange. And I'm just hitting the the ends and the highlights. Like the the bends. Just the little bends in her hair, because that's where that's where the light's gonna catch. And you kinda wanna treat I kind of want to treat hair like non-metallic metal. Mm, that needs a dry. Let's get the rest of this fur. So did anybody do anything cool on the weekend? What did we do? We watched the, we went and saw the movie yesterday which um, has been around in theaters for a little while now. And if you haven't seen it, it's actually really good. I was very happy with it. And basically, a quick synopsis of it is that a you know regular guy from England, um, there's some kind of power outage. He gets hit by a, a bus. And in this new reality that he wakes up to, the Beatles never made any music, which is kind of crazy. And so he ends up making, making himself very famous by singing their songs and kind of the story that unfolds because of that. And it's really good. I'm going to paint the rest of this fur. Same color. And what I've been doing is I've been using this as my base coat and then I've been highlighting with my light flesh, and then I've been, after that, um, white is my final color. And it's been turning out really nice looking. And it kind of follows, there's a rule of threes, where if you were using a color on a model and you use it three times, it tends to look a little better than if you got like a ton of other extra colors all over the place. Aw, Terminus. The Terminus Live. Thank you for the raid. Mad love to you. Hopefully you had a good stream. And thank you for the follow. Welcome to the class. Tell us about your your uh, your stream. Are you a mini painter? It sounds, it sounds like you might be since Terminus sounds like a Warhammer type thing. That's, that's the kind of thing you paint. Yo, yo. <laughs> A 
Hey, someone got the reference. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Do you like to, do you, do you prefer to paint Warhammer? Or was it Warhammer or War, War Machine? What did I say? I think I accidentally said War Machine, but I meant Warhammer. Either way, it's from a game. We're painting um, Kingdom Death. And I'll show you the models that we've been working on. This was, this is one of the previous models we painted on Friday stream. This is the Ranger. And these, these characters are actually designed to be like used with your D&D models and stuff. They're called the generic survivors. And then this is the cleric looking a little worried about all the dead people coming. <laughs> and then this one is the gladiator. We're working on her today. And we were struggling a little bit with non-metallic metal. Still struggling a little bit. And um, I just need to work on that some more. It'll be all right. Among other stuff, yeah, but you've been painting uh, Admech Vanguard. Cool. Sounds good. Is that for your personal army? Everything, most of everything I paint on stream is for myself because it's really the only chance I get to paint for myself. But every now and then we'll, we'll have commissions and things. All right, it's time to, it's, things are dry now. We can go into the hair some more. I'm gonna use that. Um, it, this would be like a Naples yellow, I think. Tanir yellow. I'm gonna start up here. And I'm just going to paint little highlights on here. Get that bump here and that one there. And it, there's individual hairs to pull out and then there's the big bumps that's going to give it that blonde look, that shining, shining blonde hair. Commissions for me, uh, wait, yeah, for me, not, not done commissions, just projects. That makes sense. Cool. All right, last little bit is a little bit of white. I'm gonna just hit that top highlight of the blonde hair give it that little shine. White is, is almost hardly ever, hardly ever used. Just a little bit on that end. This is the schminky from, from the, oh, there, there we go, that looks good. Cool. There was a giant cat hair on here just a second ago. Cat hair. I just noticed her hand is looking a little bit dull. So I'm gonna pop some, some highlights on that now that that's. There we go. Love the crest. Oh yeah, we're not even we're not even ready. We're not even done with the crest yet. I like the crest, but we have a lot more red to add to it. I just did the base coats, and now we're gonna go in here and get all of the little highlights of all the feathers. I did um, base coat with this uh, black leather, and now we're using. Oh, I just wiped a whole bunch off with my finger there because I'm touching my model too much. There we go. We did a little wet blending in there as well. All right, now we need a redder red. That's why I've got this awesome Pro Krill. I love this stuff. 
There we go. I almost never have to shake the Pro Krill. It really comes out of the bottle all nice, pigmented. It's a liquid pigment. I believe it is. Snowy Ack says, I really need to sleep. Have a great stream. Thank you, Snowy Ack. Good morning, Bolos. How are you? All right, now I'm going to hit highlights with this Pro Krill Red. It looks bright, but it's I think it's drying a little bit darker than I like. I'm just going to go on the edges here. There we go. I want that to be really striking. We're going to have to put some some kind of red ink or something on that in a minute cuz uh I just noticed that um Red matte color tends to dry a little bit. Um, it dries like matte, so it doesn't look good when it's matte. It never looks shiny. we go. We're going to let that dry some more. The nice thing about the Pro Curl, um is they have a long open time, so they do take a while to dry. Ooh, I need to see all, I'm touching it too much. I'm getting it all over. Put some glass back on. Terminus says, painting red fabrics is a pain. It is. Bullis says, hopefully able to send you some pictures. Awesome, yeah. So Bullis is taking advantage of the tier three um, subscription that I offer. And what you get with that is you get some um, video coaching and email coaching with that. So it's really nice because we're he's working on a project and I'm kind of helping him on, on it and giving him advice on it. Boy, I really like that red right there. That looks awesome. Let's do the top. So yeah, that's definitely send me send me some photos of your progress. So what we need, so the way to highlight orange, or sorry, the way to highlight red is not to use white or pink, right? The way to highlight red is to use a little bit of an orangey red, like using a more, we're gonna go up to, up in value by using orange. This, this particular red has a little bit more orange in it and that one actually has even more. So let's, let's use that one since that's got an orangier flavor to it. And then I use, like usually throw, throw an ink on it. What does open time? It means the time that is is available to you before it dries. So as soon as you put the paint down on your model, you've got time, that open time, while it's the paint is wet. Hey, Crocodile, how's it going? You just got your red grass game palette in the mail and, and you're getting it ready now. Awesome, you're gonna start your Lord of Malice after my stream. Excellent. <laughs> How the bloody hell are you, crocodile? Yeah. I like it that my Australians can visit. It's not too too early there, is it? So notice I'm, I'm hitting just the top of, this is where the most of the light from this lantern is hitting, right? I'm imagining a sphere, and then it's gonna come down this way. That's looking good. And then we're gonna hit this side. A little bit more. Mm. Probably gonna get this edge as well. It's 
some of it I'm just making up. There we go. And then on here, it's looking good. There we go. Aw, Orcus Gaming, thank you for the subscription. Four months. Let's give some hype to Orcus Gaming. I really appreciate your support. I'm going to spell it right. Or Chris, there we go. Or Chris is the name of the um, the blade, right? From uh, Aw. And Durzbane just gifted a sub to Crocodile. That's so awesome. Thank you. So we're going to give Crocodile. Crocodile, now you can use my emotes. And you're going to be eligible because we're going to have a giveaway on the 16th, which is Friday. Croco Dyer. And I think it's from, it's not going to be too early for you because we start about this time. We're going to be starting a stream about this time. And so it won't be too early for you. Yep, Thorn Orchid Shield Sword from The Hobbit. Nice. Nuclear device is activated and the machine keeps pu pushing through the time to, uh, to time through the co cogs. <laughs> Holds transistor. How are you? I think it's time for a stretch bake. We should take a minute. All right. We we definitely need a little red ink on this, I think. This is a completely different look from my other models, but I like it so far. So now I want to go back in here. See, now we can fix a lot of the skin on their chest because now we've got her hair and we've got her face. All right, let's take a minute and take a stretch break. It is 4.30. We're going till 5.30. I'm going to take this off for a second. Got it caught in my hair. I look so attractive with my, with my visor on. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. Look at this. All right, let's take a second and take a stretch break. I'm going to run upstairs. I'm going to put my Be Right Back sign up. We're going we're gonna to come back and finish working on our gladiator. Um, get a drink. Take a potty break, everybody. Okay? So give me one second. All right, here we be right back. And we are back. All right, so I have an idea. I just noticed my music ended. We're gonna start that back up again. 
Um, my idea is that maybe our, if you guys are interested, we could do a whip trip and we could go see if anybody else has any other Kingdom Death or anything fun that they've been working on. We could do that. Let me know in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some emotes if you want to do a whip trip. Otherwise, we'll just keep painting. Sounds good. <laughs> Which Discord? It'll be my Discord, uh, the Triptych Discord. Twitch chat broken. I can't be the only one posting nonsense. I've been watching you, Charles Transgender. I don't think it's broken. I can see it. Do exclamation point triptych for the Discord. Um, actually, no. Type exclamation point whip trips, I think is what it was. Hold on, let me find the, the um, let's do this, whip trips. Can you hear me? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, test, test, you can hear me? Check, 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 walking harder, I see you. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna find whip trips. Here we go, exclamation point whip trips. Yeah, live image galleries. There we go, whip trips. Load your whip trips into the Triptych Live Gallery channel to show your work with for, for comments and criticism. Apparently the time is a link. It's 50-50 and you're up at this time on a non-working days in winter. Bed is dangerous in the chilly weather. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. So see that link that I just posted in chat? We're gonna, I'll go ahead and start loading things up if you wanna add anything to that. Let me take a peek at it. I've been looking forward to seeing your guys' stuff. Okay. I think it goes directly to the channel that you need to post in, I'm not sure. It looks like I got a sign back in. There we go. Hmm. Authentication code, what? Let's see, receive SMS, there we go. Got it. I'm signing in with you guys. That would be working. How long is it? It's been a few, it's been a while since I've seen your guys' stuff. All right, triptych, here we go. Oh yes, awesome. I like silver nails, Kingdom Death. Today is the 12th, so I gotta scroll way back down. Good, good, I see stuff, I see stuff. Looks like Orchis is working on a assembly of some models. Awesome. Does anybody else have anything? We can definitely, we can definitely take a look. Let's see. Let me go back. If you, okay, yeah, that works. I want to show off the two Two models, um, pictures that Orcris has put in here. Okay, so it's awesome because now I have the. Yep, Excl upload your whips to the Triptych Live Gallery channel to have your work shown for criticism and comments. Orca says my two posts are still there from yesterday. You can't you can just use those. Perfect. Awesome. Using that visor makes a big difference. It does. I I it does make a big difference. So let's let's show real quick what uh, we've been painting with the visor and look at the I like that red so much. All right. Let me go back to my face cam. So I'm gonna show you guys the two pieces that Orcus put up. Let me make sure I've got everything good, okay. 
see if it works. There we go. This is this is a piece I think that you just started on. It looks like he's um, this is a little little bitty girl. I believe she's maybe 30 millimeter, I think. And he sculpted a tree and he's got leaves, which is really great, and some kind of tentacle worm. I don't know where did you get that from? What's that's really cool though. This is from Creature Caster, right? That looks good. I can't wait to see you paint her. And it looks like the base may be completely separate. Is that right? I think they're 40 millimeter. Okay. So that's actually part of the original model. Oh, wow. Very cool. Let's look at the next one, which is this one. Woo! Whoa. Is that a creature caster model? That looks like a creature caster model. He is, he's got a mouth in his belly and all kinds of mouths up on his head and a mouth in his hand and a big kind of mace made of some kind of organic substance. And then his, his intestine is wrapped around his, that's gonna be very gross to paint. I've painted a couple of those types of creature caster models in the past. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's as big as his hand. How are you gonna how are you gonna base it? Is that bondic in the cracks or what did you use in the in the cracks for the uh, the mold line or the seam lines, what they called them? Yeah, we're doing whip trips, Mr. Fan Mr. Fin Finley. Please uh, please upload any any projects you guys have if you have any. I'll do the exclamation point whip trips one more time. Bondic for finishing the cracks. Awesome. Bondic is live. Let's do this, Bondic. There we go. And then here's whip trips. <laughs> there we go. Upload anything that you'd like me to give feedback on that you're working on. We try to do these every now and then. All right. So I'm going to hide that and then we'll go and look in the whip gallery again. See if anybody else put anything in there. Ooh, Bolos. Ah, oh, Messiah's got some in there. That looks amazing. I love, love me some Lion King. Okay, here we go. Lion Knight, sorry, Lion Knight. That is awesome. Okay, we're gonna upload these. Do, do, do. Trying to get it so that I don't have too many windows open at the same time, so. Twitch doesn't or Twitch doesn't hate me. Miss Bullos did the same model and it looks fantastic. I love those colors. He is crazy. All right, hold on. Oh, Mr. Finley, it's so cute. You tried to base it and it's so cute. You did a good job on shading it. All right, hold on. We're gonna show everybody. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm going to start with Bullos because we just looked at the unprimed version of the same model from Orchrist. And this is a painted version from Bullos. Did you tell, oh, so did it tell, yeah, you found, you found a place that has refills for, for Bondic. That's awesome. I know. Look at the colors. Those are crazy colors. You're going to have to tell us what, um, where did you get the paints for those because those don't look like ordinary purples and pinks. Look at the teeth. Oh my gosh, I love I love this section over here because the yellows and the purples are just glowing against this desaturated dead skin. And there's some kind of purple tongues all over the place. It looks fantastic. <laughs> that is super fun. It also all of the all of the bigger creature caster models are a little bit of a pain, but once you get through them, it's so worth it because they're so the gluttony demon, super fun to paint. You had someone on the whip gallery model newbie, but your phone on your phone so you can't swap over easily. Okay. Cool. Gonna be hard. You're gonna go for realistic human flesh tones. Yes. So the trick with that is make sure to have have your um, 
you have to, are you going to make it like a dead, uh, realistic, live flesh, human flesh? All right, and the next one I want to look at is by, who is this by? Um, what's your, what is your chat name? Who, who's doing this one? Paul Jima says, man, all these whip shots are so are good shots. My phone blows out too much, and so I rarely take whips. There's a, hold on, I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, there, there is a app that you can get for phones called PS Photoshop Express. And I think it's free. There's some, there's some add-ons for it you can buy. You can buy Lightroom. I think it, you have to pay for Lightroom. Oh, got caught by a yawn. Um, but anyway, I, I edit my photos with that, and it's, a lot of times it'll help you balance the light and everything. Really nice. Yeah, so my, my stuff's always with my phone, too. All right, let's go back and look at this. Who's, whose lion knight is this? Yeah, I really like this. Um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about these reds that look really good together. I love the shading that's going on in here. You so if you want a little like criticism, if I were to, if I were to change anything on here, it looks like you've got your shadows and your midtone, but you don't quite have these highlighted, these pants highlighted just yet. Either that, or this is the highlight and you don't have a midtone. So there's there's something missing from the pants, and I do feel like maybe it's the midtone that's missing. So I would do like a, a color in between this highlight and this shadow. Somewhere in between needs to drop in a color there so that there's a little bit of a gradation. Because this, see how this goes from like a brighter red to a medium red and then to dark. It's just not doing that on the pants, but everything else is looking cool. Good job. Who is that? Needs highlights? Messiah, that's you. Yeah. Okay. So you ju you're ju you just haven't put the highlights on yet. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at one more. There's more on here. Let's see. This is so cool. This now, I guess you have to know that this is one of. Um, wait, I forgot the name. It was. Um, Blank, blank, blank. Hold on. Not Mr. Fin was it Mr. Finley? Yeah, it was Mr. Finley, right? I know he's so cool. He put that little pumpkin on there, and it just makes the whole model just. And so this is one of those little bones models. And we painted this together on um, with the with the tier three video coaching that you get when you subscribe at tier three with me. And I kind of walked him through, and this was one of the first models he's ever kind of painted all the way through. Um, and I think he did a fantastic job, and he did some shading and highlighting on that pumpkin. Definitely a really good start for your first model. Yes, it's, it's so cool. All right, let me see. Let me see who else we got. Do we have anybody else up in the Discord? I love those three though. Very, very, especially that little pumpkin. He's so cute. I think that's it. I think we're ready to go back to painting. Does anybody have anything left, left for us to post? Okay. All right, let's go back to painting. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my visor on. I feel like I wanna get, I wanna get a lot done on her, but I'm not able to. Hmm. Let's see. Um, because she's um, she's non-metallic metal. That's what's that's what's tripping me up. Let's try. Let's do the red cloak because I know I can do that pretty quickly. Think you're gonna start using those video coaching? Please do. Um, I leave it up to you guys to contact me to get those set up. I don't chase after you and say, hey, you know, let's let's do this. You got to you got to chase me. But um, I always am real good about making sure that those get set up whenever. Whenever you do. 
um, do you know track me down? It's not hard. Ah, Echo Chill, how are you? Moin moin. <laughs> or I, or should I say, uh, guten Abend, right? Because it's late. Echo Chill sent me a care package um, a while back of um, German sweets and tea. And because he found out that I do like tea. And then I ended up writing him back and saying, hey, I, I need a sugar bowl and I need tongs and a creamer to go with my tea set. <laughs> no chasing, loving nudges. Yes, exactly. There you go. So I've been really enjoying my my tea. Thank you so much, Echo Chill. There we go. This is the Gladiator from Kingdom Death. Um, Echoes of Death 2. Echoes of Death 2. That's right. Let's get a little bit of that dark color in there. I don't need this bright back here to be bright red. I can make it a dark red. Ah, I just got some on her arm. That's okay, I can fix it later. All right, let me see if I can get that paint off her arm. especially have our fingers. All right, good enough. All right, um, bronze, bronze, bronze. Let me look at my reference again. Bronze helmet. Let's go with we need a dark brown. I, that's what's missing from some of this. Um, I am going to find... I have to get on the floor because it's all of my, my little case of paints is down here. Give me one second. I see the greens that are in that bronze now. It's sort of in like uh, olive colored greens. All right, brown, we needed this one. There's mahogany, that's a good one. It's not, it's, and then this one is dark umber. I like that as well. And then we have transparent brown, which works like our inks, kind of. It's like somewhere in between there. And I'm gonna paint a lot of these little details on her. Let's start with the dark umber. Yes, that is the color I needed. It's gonna dry matte, but hopefully the transparent browns will help, help it not be so matte. Woot, and back. Yep, I'm still on. I'm gonna be on for another half hour, well, actually 45 minutes. We're gonna be on for a while. All right, we're gonna paint. I need to put my glass back on it because I've got my visor on now. I don't need to take my glasses off. There we go like Cyclops. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't have a bare belly like the pinup, which I like. And we're gonna go with the browns. Okay. We'll go with this. Paint all of this brown. And I think, I think it'll look good. Okay. Maybe it needed some, a little bit of browns in there too. Maybe a little bit. I 
Okay. All of those in the back. Trying to paint neat, but I'm also trying to paint fast, so that's kind of not going together real well. All right, and then let's do this here. There's the little things dangling off of these rings. I'm going to leave those white for now. chat. <laughs> You're going to have to rewatch this. Ugh, it's been a little bit frustrating. I'm going to be, I'm not going to lie. This, this part of the painting has not been as easy, which I was really, we might, I might end up having to go back to metallic metal for this character because I don't know how confident I am with my non-metallic. Or I might just ask my friends to give me some advice. All right, we got the brown. I like that, actually. Let's look back at her. She's got bracers. They're really dark brown. Lots of little strappy bits. I'm looking, let's go to the shield, too. So we're gonna make that all brown as well. a lot different than the original character that that they made for her. You know what? What the heck? I'm going to make the whole thing brown and then we'll highlight all the bits that um, get to be lighter. We'll use the transparency on the shield because I think you'll you'll really get a kick of what they do. Kick out of what they do. Has anybody here besides me worked with the transparents from, from uh, Procrel? They're pretty new. And I just got some and they don't behave exactly like inks or like the washes from Citadel. They're a little different. They're really good for tinting things though. I'm going to show you. Okay. Get it all brown for now. And get back there. I can't even reach all the way back there. Ah. See if I can mash my brush up in there a little bit. I'm just gonna have to repaint some of it. Okay. A little bit more. I'll check chat. The best advances are done when pursuing immediate goals. You do fantastic. You screw up, you learn. Yeah, thank you, Dead Cow Cole. I, I definitely, I'm, I mean, I definitely plow forward, that's for sure. Like, sometimes you just have to, right? But I, I, well, I want to encourage other people to make those advances and, and not be afraid of things. All right, we got good, 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 good. What color should we make these things? They're from the Gorm. I believe they're kind of green, so I'm gonna make them kind of green. We'll do that. There's something from the Gorm armor. Plus, it'll look good with the rest of that. Actually, that looks super good. It almost looks like more bronze than the rest, doesn't it? With that bits of brown mixed in.
You messed with them for a minute. Nothing specific. Nothing specific. Okay. I've. That's about. That's real similar to me too. I haven't done a ton with them, but I really like what I've seen so far. Gourmet colored, yes, exactly. <laughs> There's a whole like, um, this guy over here, where'd he go? This guy here, he has like basically the whole Gorm armor on him. So we'll be painting him with all that Gorm colors. He's got his little lantern. I've already got that. Okay. That's looking good. I really, hmm. Let's look at the back. I, I see a lot of, I'm gonna give him some greens as if he's got that bronze thing going on. Again, I'm just making things up. I don't really know what I'm doing with my non-metallic metal today. We'll work it out. I'm, I'm using this brown mixed with this green, and maybe it's like a bronzy color. Kind of like that. That's my base coat anyway. Let me try a little bit more green. Yeah, that does feel bronze, doesn't it? Let's try this. I like it. Maybe this could even be the base coat to a gold as well. Maybe we'll see what happens. So I'll just mix the um, Avernus, Advernus, this one, Ad, Ardenus green and the um, dark umber from from Procrel. This one, dark umber, which is about 50/50, maybe a little bit more green. And again, my idea is to try to get a bronze armor. Maybe that reads a little bit on the gold side, but a basically a cold gold, essentially, as, as Bullis put it, cold gold. We were kind of getting ideas from the chat, but then it got a little overwhelming from me. So then we stopped. And now I'm kind of just trying things on the lark. I'm just trying things out and seeing what sticks. Ooh, she's so cool looking though. Hmm. We started with this green as a base for her skin, so I don't know if that's bringing out, if this green is bringing that out. I think it is. Okay. Let's do all of the, all of the armor this way. Let me check chat. I know chat. I can hear it, even though it's not doing anything. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. What do you think?
and this last little bit over here. All right, we got so much to highlight. There's an interesting sound coming from my upstairs. I hope it's the, I hope it's the cats. Um, all right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what happens when I add a little bit of this ochre to my, to my highlights. That's better. And again, I'm just sketching. I don't, I still don't know what exactly what's gonna happen here. I like that though. See? little ochre. Wait, wait, what did I miss? You didn't see any of it, so you're going at the theory that she slipped it under the table, it was magically passed back to her mostly painted. You didn't see it. What did you miss? There we go. Get that little highlight right there on her leg and the cap and kind of work down. All I'm doing is sketching right now. Sketching in her bronze. I'm really digging the green. Although all right now she does feel a little bit a little bit desaturated. Cool, okay. Definitely it is a cold gold. Maybe I need to go back and add greens to her, her helmet a little bit. The dingo dude, the dingo dude? How are you? Are you from Australia? Welcome, thank you for the follow. We've got a couple Australians here right now, if you are. Okay, let's add a little bit of the Sahara yellow. The dingo dude says no. <laughs> well, thank you anyway. Yay, work is done, all right. I'm adding my gold, gold, um, Highlights now. I'm just tapping. I'm, again, I'm still sketching. I don't really know where things are going with things. It's frustrating. I'm painting it. I basically what I'm attempting to do is paint it as if I'm painting on a canvas, which is is tricky on 3D because. There we go, that might work better. A little bit of highlights right there. Um, it's tricky on 3D because especially such a small model, it's so easy to get it wrong. There's the top of that highlight. And then the white. Just a smidge, just a smidge of white. And the white I'm putting on spots. See, now that worked a little bit. You love that painting mode when it's, when it's decide as you go. You do? You're from New York? Tingo good, that's cool. 
So this pain is my as I go is 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 it is potluck. I mean it could work, but it could also be you know, we we could end up with a whole mess, a whole mess. Although I'm I'm getting something. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Let's see what happens when we, I really like this boot over here. I think it's it's actually working. It's starting to work. Let's do the Teneri. I recommend that when you do non-metallic metal that you have a metal reference to kind of help you through it. Notice the highlight is wider at the bottom than it is at the top. And I'm looking at this and the the metal jumps or the or sorry the uh, the light jumps. It travels There we go, it's starting to get there. We need it to be brighter and brighter. That's, that's looking cool, actually. I'm finally getting somewhere. Trying to imagine what the light is doing. The, the light is moving, so you have to sketch it in because the light is not stagnant. There we go. See how we make a little ziggy zag kind of line? That seems to help it look more metallic, actually. This is very different from the heavier metal style of metallics, non-metallics. And I can't say that this is better because I don't know yet. Let's do the, t this is the uh, Sahara yellow now. Ooh. I have to go back into my darker color because I lost it a little bit. There we go. We're going to get wider at the bottom here because the, the light is going to pool. I'm kind of getting my shadow back in. There's a bus painting class that's going to be held in Detroit February. You think you've attended it? I recommend it. Yeah, your nay dogs. <laughs> Aw. Ain't that the truth? Redoing your minotaur again. Skin tone got too dark. Aw. It's all it's almost easier to paint um you know to go back when it's too dark than when it's too I don't know. Alright, so now I'm starting to finally get my little light in there. I need I need my Teneri. I'm going to zigzag it again. I'm going to use a little white. Think about there's a sphere here or something. It's basically bending. So I've got to make that light bend there. And then it comes down. And it's going to end up here where it's going to pool. Right? Always paint your edges. There we go. Another little highlight here. You can make that more of an ochre highlight. Dee -dee. Oh, it's starting to look like a metal. Kind of. Almost. It's almost. I think we need... We need a dark in there again. It's getting there though.
Have you ever heard of Kessa? I've heard of Kefa. Oh, Kefa, yes. Kefa's the ones teaching the bus class. That's my friend. Your friend has the game? Yes, this is from, this is from Kingdom Death. This, uh, this is a model, and it comes with these other, um, three other models. Here's one we painted. And then here's another one. Where's the other one? This is one, I feel like so far this is my most successful, honestly. But this one's gonna be very different in style from the other ones. Kefa, yes, take Kefa's class, he's awesome. You've heard of Gotcha Life? Kingdom Death is um, a, like a mm, boutique style, kind of horror-esque game. It is not like any other game I've played. There we go, we're getting the lights. I think Mike is home. Secondary highlight over here. I like this. I think this is starting to work. Well, let's try the transparent brown for some really dark shadows because um, these are almost like inks, but they tint. Let's see. It's, this one's got a lot of red in it. So we'll see. Might need to add some purples. Yeah. We'll try it. It's got a lot of red. Let's try it over here first. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna add it to this shield. It's not like, it's like I said, it's, it's a transparent paint, so it's tinting it, tinting it reddish. Interesting. Let's see what it looks like against this greens. You're gonna drag Duff along? Awesome. What are my thoughts on army painters? Um, I don't like army painter as a professional, and the reason, ooh, I like that. My, the reason why is because they're very, they're not very pigmented at all. They don't have a lot of pigment, and so you end up using so much for what you, you know, for what you pay for. So you should buy another paint to be able to get a better product, is what I think. But I do think that the strong tone and the stuff like that can be really helpful. I, I'm a big fan of other companies. I like that. Let me see how that looks on stream. No, it doesn't look good on stream. Mm. Okay, we're gonna put more green back in it. And then we need maybe more, more bronze maybe. Mm-mm. Huh. Try brown down in here. Frustrated show she is frustrated. Eh, it's almost there. That's better. It's like I take it back, I mess it up. You think it looks good? Well, I hope so. <laughs> there is so much left to do. I'm glad that you like it, Mikolas. I feel like uh, I've been struggling with this one. It's going to take some hours on my own. <laughs> All right, let's do the This is the part where I have the little fur coming off. There we 
go. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Dingo Dude. Have a good one. Work the problem, don't let it work you. All right, all right, all right, I'll try. I'm gonna try. I think that's my issue. Let's get that bronze color back in there. It's painterly anyway. All right, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go back. I know that you're gonna probably be mad at me, but I'm gonna completely, let's see what happens when I glaze over that. Ooh, that did something. It blended it, it blended it, it blended it. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe now I can go over it and be happy with it. Let's try. this side better. I think it, I was I was trying too hard. I really do. I was trying too hard. There we go. That side looks really good. I'm very happy with that side. It's getting there. <laughs> you guys get to see me fight it. Snake Taco, hello. All right. So one of the things, there we go. I think Illuminus was right in that I was letting it, it get to me too much. That's better. Looks better when I don't have my visor on. <laughs> Hi Teviston, how's it going? We are fighting a model right now. She went through the ugly stage. She's still kind of going through the ugly stage. Now I'm liking her boots. A little bit more anyway. Let's do the yellow, that's a little bit less harsh than the white. There we go. She's feeling gladiatorial now. What should we do? We should do her little straps. I think we'll do those in a, we'll see. Let's, let's find the transparent black. Let's try and let's see what happens when I do the transparent black. It's supposed to just tint it, we'll see. It might act like a full on ink. Oh, I like that, yes. And it is acting like a wash at the moment, which is perfect. 
not quite. Let's do that in the corners. Crevices. All right, I gotta put my visor on so I can see. Yellow and black make a kind of ochre color. So this is actually probably gonna work pretty nice. Let me see. It's not too heavy. And I'm using it to shade now. Okay. I apparently have a lot of work to do when it comes to non-metallic metal. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do on her chest plate here. I'm gonna just see again about using my demi-metallic here. A little bit of this green with a little bit of this metallic. And I'm just gonna tap. And not even try to, that's some ochre. That looks good so far. Oh, I like that. And then we'll try the, uh, this is the, not the, the ochre, this is the Sahara. And we're gonna get my edges. That's working. Now, with the light yellow, So painterly. Mm. Hi, model newbie. Did you just get here? I thought you've been here. <laughs> Ginger biscuit and peppercorn. bits of white. This is the white is what makes it feel like metal because of the bright highlights. Does that look like metal? I think it's getting it's getting there slowly. JJ, you're a JJ. That's true. You are a JJ Lamunas. I'm just gonna hit these 
with the dry brush almost. Not quite. And then the Sahara. That looks awesome right there. Now we have to go get all of these little edges. That's the thing about painting non-metallic metal. Here we go. My little highlight there. Remember it's wider at the bottom. And then I need to go back in, fill in all my little lines that my drop shadows gave me. That's better. <laughs> and Let's try this snare yellow right here. Almost, I messed it up. <laughs> what happens when I add the white back on top? There we go. That's much better. Just fix a little bit. I think that this um, shade, uh, what is it, this highlight on her bracer can be a little bit more in the yellow zone because of the light coming from her OSL. That's better. I feel like I want to work on her lips a little bit. I'm going to just use a little bit of this Orcus Dermis. And we'll go ahead and pop on a little bit of blush on her, a little bit of lip color. Let me see if I can see it. Oh good, I can. All right, so I'm gonna start with this darkish red color, a little bit of brown. Oy vey, she's got small lips. probably too dark. So now I can try the Orcus Dermis on top of that. Oh, that worked. Yay. So I got a nice little pink color going on. I'm going to put the same pink in, in between her breasts just to give it a little life, because we had that. She's not cartoony at all. She's much more Shoshi realism style, I think. I'm putting a little bit of this turquoise in her armpit. That's to cool things down, a little bit more in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this turquoise in here on her side of her leg to cool things down. And then um, kneecaps get that blushy color. I don't have any kneecaps, do I? Just a little bit over here. Blush that. 
make her look alive. And a little bit on the fingers because those fingers are going to have some life. Let's see how it looks on cam. Yeah. Gotta look alive. Exactly, Danae. How are you? All right, I'm, I really feel like I need more red back on her front. I was originally gonna make these straps um, black, but I don't think that's gonna work for her. So I'm gonna make these like almost like, uh, what's that movie, 3000? Or the hunt, 300, 300? I don't even remember now. It was a while ago. I don't even, does anybody know when that movie came out? Isn't it funny how time flies, how time flies? And then all of a sudden, like the, the movie that you liked was like, is 30 years old. All right, a little bit of the Pro Krill on top as a highlight. I have to let that dry. Too dark. Sparta, this is Sparta. Yeah, 300, exactly. I'm good. What colors did I use for the skin? Oh my goodness. I used so many colors. That's how we got this kind of natural looking skin and how we're getting, this is so different. Look at how different these two are. One, well, actually, you know, not as much. I don't think they're as different as I, and now that I'm looking at them together, I'm feeling a lot better about this one than I did just a minute ago. I'm so hypercritical, guys. I shouldn't be. Let's do the green again. I want to try others. So, okay, so the, let me, let's, I'm going to show you all of the colors that we used on the skin. So we started with the base. And I believe our base was um, actually a green. So, and you might be like, what is, why are you using green? And I have a whole bunch of skin tone videos that use this green. So the best thing to do is to go watch those. Mm. Otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna be here all day. So then I used tanned, tan shadow. So I'm gonna show you the bottoms cause it's gonna be so much easier to figure out what I'm doing. If you can see the bottoms, okay. That was our first triad, right? Triad plus green. Then we added um, a wash of right gun flesh shade, right? It's almost empty. Wash. And then we did, oh man, a little bit of this and a little bit of the turquoise. Where's the turquoise? Here it is. A little bit of that. And then really, ideally, there should be some yellows in there too. And I would probably use this yellow. So that would be my entire set for skin. <laughs> yes. And all right, so this is how far I've gotten, guys. I am going to finish the rest off stream. And then the next time we paint together, we'll start working on this bard. Okay, she's hopefully gonna be a little easier. I'm gonna hopefully get her colors all figured out before we just start playing with stuff because today was was frustrating. But I got a good I got a good start on non-metallic um, bronze. I think it's gonna look better than I ex expected to. Three to four colors, it's it's a lot, never mind. <laughs> awesome. All right, are you ready? We're, oh, look at this. <laughs> We're gonna find somebody great to host. I believe it was Monday. A lot of times um, Maharoon is on. We've got some other people we might be able to find. Let's check. Come back on Friday. Well, come back on Wednesday, because Wednesday is our next stream. We're gonna be probably painting the bard. Friday, we'll be doing our subscriber giveaway. So you want it if you don't have you you know have your subscriptions in 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 place before Friday then you want to do that by then. Okay, let's see. We got Maha, we got Key Lime. We haven't done Key Lime in a while. Um, what's Silver Kester doing? Let's see. 
I think we'll we'll share Nalindi. I haven't watched them in a little bit, so I'm gonna cut. Yes, we're gonna have um, exclamation point Mad Love in the channel, so that if you don't have my emotes, you can go ahead and copy and paste this, and we're gonna raid M Nalindi. Mo um, you can use my emotes when we get there, and. I will see you guys on Wednesday. All right, guys. Mad love. Thank you so much. And we will be back on Wednesday from 6 to 9. Bye.